This video is going to be on a three-way switch, how a three-way switch works, and why it works. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube on the three-way switch, the wiring. They've got lots of explanations, lots of cool animation. Um, they're so confusing. They're confusing to me. Probably confusing to a lot of people. Uh, making an educational video is you either do a good job or you don't. It's just really up to the person who's watching it to either understand it or not, but it helps if the person is explaining it properly. So I'm going to try my best to do an explanation of the three-way switch. Hopefully it helps some people out there. Uh, as I say in all my videos, if you like what I'm putting out here, please do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. If you want to donate to my channel, ask for my PayPal info. If there's a product you want me to review, if I can get a hold of it, I will do that since this is mostly an educational and review page. So I'm going to take a different approach. I'm going to take an electrical approach instead of... I'm going to take an electronic approach instead of an electrical approach. And then we'll come back to uh, hopefully making sense with this whole thing. So I talk a lot. I do talk a lot. And a lot of people hate that on my videos. And a lot of people like that I explain in lots of detail so that they can understand. So what we're going to do first is we're going to look at a switch. I'm going to start basic, but it's all going to make sense in the end. So we're going to start with a regular switch. Regular switch has two terminals on it. One, two. And there is a piece inside the switch that connects the two terminals together. This is called a pole. This is a single pole switch. Single pole, single throw. One pole will throw in one direction. So you have one pole that will throw to close the switch or to open the switch. That is your basic switch in your wall that turns your lights on and off. And we're going to add to this in a minute. But now we are going to talk about the idea behind the three-way switch. That is a little bit different. That has three terminals on it. Single pole, double throw. So we have one switch with three screws. This would be considered the common. A single pole, double throw, and when it is connected, maybe up or down, however it's uh, set up in the wall, it will connect this to this connection. When it is placed down or up, however you want to do it, it will connect this to this. So that's the difference between what you have in your wall that opens, turns on the lights, and a three-way switch. A three-way switch, this is what a three-way switch is, but a three-way circuit has two of these, and we're going to get to that in a minute. We're going to continue with lots of cool drawings, so again, hopefully this makes sense. So, let's go and look at a standard on-off, let's just look at a standard light. Standard light, let's, can we do, we don't need to do colors right now. Well, no, we're not going to do colors right now. So we've got your, how do I want to do this? Let's call this the, you know, I'm just going to do colors instead for this. White would be your neutral, which is technically your ground, which is confusing because when you're doing electronics, Black is your ground, but white is going to be your neutral, and this is going to be your line or your hot. So if you would have two wires coming in from your circuit breaker, and they would go into a standard lamp, well, how are we going to do this? Let's do, let's make, uh, it doesn't matter because with AC, it doesn't really matter which way you hook it up to a point. So we've got the hot. If you would take this wire and put it over to here, and this wire and put it over to here, you would turn your lamp on. The lamp would just light. If you had two wires coming into the circuit, coming in from your uh, circuit breaker, 
from your uh, junction box or if you just had a power cord and you plugged the two wires which had power onto the lamp the inner the little center piece and the outer piece you would light your lamp okay so that makes sense that's pretty easy to understand now if we added this is where it's going to get a little confusing on different pages but if we were to add this single pole single throw switch then we could turn the light on and off and so what would end up happening is you'd have your switch over here and you'd have I did that the wrong way and since I did that the wrong way just to correct that to make it easier for me so I don't have to okay so if we had the white wire the neutral going to the lamp and we had the black wire the power would go in go it to one terminal of the switch other terminal of the switch would go over to the lamp when the switch was open single pole single throw you would have no connection when the switch closed you would have a connection and that would complete your circuit so let's see what that would look like if it was in a wall because right now we're just discussing the circuit now if we had this in a wall we would have two wires coming in again we'd have the black and the white and then we would have let's set up our junction box so the junction box we'll do the junction box in green and in the junction box we are going to have our switch gotta make sure I do this right okay so in the junction box we're gonna have our switch we're also gonna have our lamp which is gonna be out here now when you do wiring you always want to carry your neutral wire you should connect your neutral wire into the junction box uh, because a lot of times if you don't have a neutral wire there and you want to do some uh, change in the circuitry you cause a lot of problems for people I think you I don't know if you have to do that per code but you should do it so let's work with the neutral first what you would have here is you would have your white wire that would go into the junction box and you would have a little wire nut and then you would have the white wire that would go and connect to your lamp so what you'd have is you'd have a wire going into the junction box you have another wire going from the junction box going through the walls up to the ceiling and to the light so that part of the circuit's done we need to work with the turning the light on and off part of it and that is where we have our switch which would have two terminals and so you would have your black wire would go into here and connect to the screw and it might not connect to the screw you might have this wire going into the box and you might have a wire coming off of the switch and they might put it into a little wire nut so it just depends how they do it or how they did it so you would have that wire going in there and then what you would have is this wire which would come out of the box go through the wall inside the pair of wires usually you have a black and a white and a ground and it would connect over to here so your neutral part of the circuits already connected the only thing you're uh, switching now is the line power the hot line the power goes in sits over in the box when you turn the switch on connects this two, these two terminals together power goes through the wall through the wires into the light over here and powers the light so that is your standard light and just not that I need to add this but if you've got your wiring you're also going you're usually going to have a ground you're going to have your black you're going to have your white and you're going to have a ground wire it might be green it might be a bare wire and so all three of those wires should be in one jacketed thing either Romex or however you're going to do it so what you would have is your black wire your white wire and your ground wire your ground wire would go into the box and it would either be connected to a screw uh, on the box or it could be connected to a, another wire 
and that wire could go to the screw. It could be set in a wire nut, or it could just go over here and then go through the, the uh, sheathing, the other cable, and connect the ground over to the lamp. So we understand the basic on-off circuit now. Now, let's get rid of wasting a lot of paper here, but that's okay. Education is important. So now we're going to go back to the single pole double throw switch. And we're going to kind of follow the circuit that I just showed you up here as best I can. I might mess this up in my drawings, so if I do, then I'm going to have to start this part of the video again. But what we want to do is we will start off like we did before with the black and the white wires coming in. Let's do black and white so I can get that to look kind of like what the original drawing looked like. And I'm not much of an artist, so we will do what we did in the other drawing over here, and we will do the junction box. And we'll do another junction box. Now, the idea behind a three-way switch is you have a switch and two, two switches in two locations. Or one switch in one location, one switch in another location. So let's say that we're in a hallway. This switch is at one end of the hallway, this switch is at the other end of the hallway. So if you walk into the hallway and you flip this thing on, the light in the middle will come on. If you flip it off, the light will go off. If you go, if you turn the switch on over here, you get to the end of the hallway, you can flip the switch and it will turn the light off. So I'm going to make the drawing look just like this. I'm not going to put the, the light in the middle of the hallway or the middle of the drawing for you. But I do want to do what I did on this other one, and we'll put the light over here. We might have a lot of wires, uh, a lot of different colors floating around in this drawing. So, again, you've got to remember that when we're dealing with this, this is a usually like a Romex where you've got your black, white, and your ground in there. So this is one, even though it looks like two wires, this is going to be a cable and a cable out. We're going to do the same thing over here. Now, remember how I showed you the switch over here. You got your common, and then you have your uh, one throw, the other throw. On a three-way switch, it is called a common and a traveler. So let's just call it T1 and T2. It doesn't matter, but just for the explanation, let's call it T1 and T2. Yeah, I already messed up the paper there. Okay, so each switch is going to have three terminals. We're going to have our common. So how do I want to do this? I want to do, let me do the travelers at the top. And we'll do the common at the bottom. And when you put these in the wall, if you don't like how it's positioned, you can turn the switch upside down so that you've got the up or down. Some people don't care. They want them both up or they want one down, one up. So however you want to do it, that's up to you. So the first thing we want to do, and this is where it's going to get really confusing, and so I'm not going to try to confuse you by throwing in, remember over here how we threw the white wire in? The white wire stays into the, pack, into the cable, and the white wire stays into the cable over here. I don't want to confuse you, so let's just assume that we've got the cable that goes from the power, the circuit breaker, into this switch. So I'm not going to show you the white. I'm not going to do that. And then the cable is going to go down the hallway to this switch. I'm not going to show you the white wire in the uh, cable bundle that goes to this. And then we're going to have the same connection. We're going to have the white wire going over to the light. So we can, let's just assume that that has already been taken care of. Let's get a, here, that's how it would normally be. You'd go white to there to there, to there. So since we figure that out now, let me just go over here and show that the white is connected. And I'm gonna go over here and show the white is connected, and over here, the white is connected. So we're, we're over there, over there, over there. That's gonna be your neutral. Now we're dealing with the circuit part. We need to, remember how we did it over here? We need to complete the power going to the light that's what we're going to do here. And the way we do it is very simple. 
again, remember, this is a cable with the white, the black. Now, when you're doing the three-way switch, you're going to have different colors. You, you're probably going to have a red. You're going to, you, I think you're going to have the red for switching. I'm not getting into cable colors right now or wire colors. I'm strictly explaining how the circuit works. So we've got the travelers. We have two terminals on the switch. Let's just connect this over here. It could be connected over here. It doesn't really matter. And you'll see why in a minute. So we're going to connect the travelers together. And you're going to go, wow, so this is how it works. Pretty simple. So we're going to have the common over here. We've got the power coming in. And the power is going to go to the common. And the common on this switch, the power or the, the common is going to go over to the light. So what do we have here now? We're going to use the nail file and the hex key wrench so this makes sense. We've got the two switches that are in the wall. We've got our white that goes through the pair, goes through this box, comes over to the lamp. So the white part is connected into the circuit. We're switching the power now. Power goes in to the common. If the switch is positioned this way, power will go through the common, will go through here, will go through here, and it will not connect to the lamp. The lamp won't come on because it's not connected. Now, we go on to this side of the hallway and we flip this switch. Power goes in to the common, to this top line, to this line, to this red, turns on the light. Okay, so that's good. So what happens if we're dealing with this switch? The light is on now. We walk down the hallway and we flip the switch. So what happens now is the power goes in to the common, goes through this wire, goes over here, can't connect to the common so the light doesn't go on. But if we go down to the other end of this hallway, power goes into common through here, goes through, did I get that right? Power goes into common, through here, through here, light goes on. Flip the switch this way, there's no connection. You've lost the connection to the light going through the common, to the top one, it does not go back to the common, and so you don't have a connection, you have no light. So that is how a three-way switch works. Maybe a little bit of confusing. Maybe my video is not as good as the other people. Maybe I talk too much. But uh, that's all right. So let's get this wire over here. That's the white. And then we're going to have the little wire nut in here. And the wire nut is going to go over to here. And we're going to connect into the box over here with a wire nut. And then we're going to go over here and connect. to there. So that's how the whole circuit works. Really all it is is a single pole double throw switch and this one that was a single pole single throw which is this way or this way and this switch is this way or this way and that is what we're dealing with now. We're switching two single pole double throw switches and making them work together to connect the circuit or disconnect the circuit. So thanks for watching everybody. I don't expect to get rich off of this thing, off of this video. Uh, I will put some ads on here and uh, hopefully you'll watch them and hopefully you'll benefit out of the video and learning. And again, please do a thumbs up, subscribe, help me out as a creator and make sure you check out all my other videos. Some of them are awesome, some of them are okay.